All right, we're going to talk about whether or not the chiropractic adjustment is safe. And this is a very common question or concern that people have when they're first deciding whether or not they want to see a chiropractor. And that's a fair question to have. What we usually tell people is that there's going to be adverse reactions with just about any medical procedure you may get, whether it's surgery or injections or anything of the like. The way that we circumnavigate this within, within our practice is that we use what's called a progression of forces. So when you come in here as a new patient, this is not a situation where you come in, we lay you down, we go right into the adjustment because if that were the case, we wouldn't have done our due diligence. So we use things like orthopedic examinations, we use the McKinsey method, which if you want to learn more about that, watch some of our other videos. But through using something like the McKinsey method, we are gradually exposing the patient to more and more and more force. So the way that it works is initially maybe we have someone produce the force themselves, then maybe they give a little bit of more pressure themselves until we put our hands on them and provide even more pressure. In a case like that, if the patient can withstand these forces and there's not any any sort of like red flags showing up as we do it, then we can deem them safe for something like the, the chiropractic adjustment. Yeah, by far the most uh, common side effect we see of a joint manipulation is um, someone coming in and saying, you know, they are sore. They felt like they just worked out, mm -hmm. which you know, can be, we, you know, we go in and stretch the muscles or create some movement in the spine where it's stiff before. Um, so that's not really uncommon to have somebody sore, but again, 24 or 48 hours, they they feel great. Oftentimes better and they're happy then. Yeah. Um, there's some other small risks of, say, um, like a rib fracture. If you're a typically older female with osteoporosis and the bones are really thin, but we uh, will, you know, use appropriate forces then. We don't kind of go all out if the, you're the candidate for that kind of a thing. Right. And another you know, thing with that, you know, we have malpractice insurance, we all carry it. And in the healthcare world, uh, chiropractors have the lowest malpractice insurance mm -hmm. um, of any healthcare provider. So those, that's kind of tells you, you know, how risky uh, the stuff that we do in here is. Yeah. If you guys have any questions or concerns about what all the, the chiropractic adjustment entails, comment below or watch some of the other videos that we will put out about the chiropractic adjustment. Thanks, guys.